Previously on The Lost Art. So, is it true that once seen, the deep city has you forever in its thrall? If you're somehow picking up clues that the borough might pose a danger, don't you think the others should be warned? It has to be our secret for the moment. I don't have time for dreams. I'm telling you, there's something in that egg. I have this feeling- I have a feeling my head is going to explode. You are a keeper of secrets. So, you and Lucas. That was... Things were different back then. I knew it. Zarek. What? Henry! Henry? Are you crazy? No! Look! Schisms on the surface are mirrored in the cavern. The team is in mourning, desperate for hope. People of the tablet also. Hey. Guess who Morgan and I caught swimming in Doreno? Isn't that pod in the Arctic region? Oh, it is. Still, I couldn't resist a swim. A few freezing minutes was all I needed. Needed? To check out the pod's structural integrity. <laughs> Not to mention giving us a show. So what are you guys up to? We've been discussing how best to proceed with age modification. To avoid losing any more worlds. Thomas, you've got to stop feeling guilty about that. Not bloody lightly. Which reminds me, among the books that were found recently is one that I'm pretty sure leads to an age known as Garrison. As I recall, the whole age revolved around the keeping of secrets. <laughs> Literally. Never mind, you'll see. My point is that you might find some working maintainer suits. That beacon we saw in Teladon, wasn't that something to do with the maintainers? They set those down to indicate an age was safe. The maintainers used to wear these special suits when they first linked to an age. They took point. Exactly. The suits saved countless lives. Checking out Garrison is definitely worth a shot. Lucas should probably come along, seeing as he's the procurement officer. I'm not entirely sure how running the factory on Erkana qualifies him for this. But I'll send someone to fetch him. I'd better stay here. Nice to see someone following protocol for once. Thomas, why don't you come as well? A change of scene will do you good. Well, Kaya should come in case there's anything that needs translating. But who said you get to go? Zarek? Fine. Maybe we should pack a picnic. Ah. Where? Where am I? 
Do not try to talk. Just think. I can hear you. Is this how you communicate? Partly. We also communicate through sound. What did you just say? That is how I am called. Your name? That is your name? Yes. My name. Well, I'm never going to be able to say that. Does it mean anything, your name? Protector of the tablet. Not quite sovereign. Hmm. I don't know how this works, but I'm hearing a female voice in my head. So I'm guessing princess? What is princess? A queen in training. Princess. Hmm. No, wait. Tiara. Can I call you Tiara? Tiara? It's a crown, a kind of headpiece. A tiara is a symbol of sovereignty. Ah, a tablet. And do I call you... What do you want with me? <laughs> call me Alex. Alex? <laughs> Close enough. Alex is short for Alexander, which, as I recall, means defender of the people. What did I say? This place is huge, sir. We've only managed to search about a third of it. Okay, let's split up. This is beautiful. I think they used to have some kind of sporting event here. Did you hear that? Thank God we're in a fortress. Unfortunately, a spinning one. Yeah, makes you wonder. Makes me dizzy. Alright guys, enough of the sightseeing. Lieutenant, why don't you take Thomas and Katya down to where you left off? Lucas and Morgan, you head to level 3. Remember, you'll have to link out and link back in again. Are the communication towers operational yet? Yes sir, but we're experiencing some drop-offs. The walls are pretty thick, and don't forget, your GPS won't work since we're in another world. That's okay. I've just sent everyone copies of the rudimentary schematics Mazeroski provided. They should help. Pope, you're with me. If you find one of those suits, signal the rest of us. Let's move out. idea where we are? Hmm. Hmm. 
Morgan. This is it, Lucas. One of the places in my dream. Only this cell looks like someone, or something, tried to escape. Or trying to get in? Are your intentions. What do you mean? Whoa! I thought that was a fire pit. What is that? Your body is still healing. You should not enter the circle of shifting. I beg your pardon? These schematics are pretty vague, but I think this is where we're meant to meet up with Captain Culver. Are you okay? Captain? What? I'm not that scary. In my nightmare I was being chased by- Dear God, who is that? Okay, Pope. Let's start transporting these back to the cavern. You look exactly like the figures from my dream. Oh yeah, mine too. They were gathered around the egg stone, one in each of the alcoves. What on earth are they talking about? What? Am I supposed to follow? The weight of leadership can sometimes drive you crazy. Imagine being trapped. I've been here two weeks. You were sleepwalking. We considered it best not to disturb you. How did I get here? Share with me your last memory. Hmm. We were making our way to the vault. A place with trees. Oh, and a purple sky. Yes, we know this realm. You traveled through the place of shifting in the lookout, did you not? Lookout? Ah, you mean a linking field. I don't remember linking. There was a tremor. I got hit by a rock and I fell. The place of shifting is contained within the cave. If you did not enter... Let's see what we've got so far. There's my dream. Actually, I think Lucas had the first weird dream. If you're done here, we found all the working suits and are ready to go home. Hold on. I think we're onto something. Can't this wait until after we get back? It will only take a minute. Ah. Uh. What were you saying about Lucas's dream? It definitely left me in a mood, but it was just a flying dream. And then I dreamt of that cell. Like the ones we saw here. Exactly. Just before you woke me, I was surrounded by guys who were wearing those very same suits. Soweit ich weiß, haben die Typen in Anzügen immer gefallen. Ha <laughs> ha Of course I meant. You know what I mean. Tell him about your dream, Thomas. Seriously, what have you guys been smoking? Just listen. I promise you, I'm as skeptical as the next person. But 
how do you explain all three of us dreaming about things we haven't yet seen? Lucas? There was a landscape at the end. You think it's an actual place? Possibly. I don't know. But couldn't it be relevant? Describe it. Look, I'm not sure where I stand with your dreams, or with your ideas that there's something in that eggstone. But Dunny has never failed to provide surprises before. Obviously, the maintainer suits exist, and it appears you're getting this information from somewhere. I was down at the docks, but instead of a bay, I was looking at a beautiful golden beach. There were these cliff-like islands. I heard about such an age. The DRC didn't consider it safe. I wonder why Lucas dreamt of it. Now hang on a minute. We don't know that was the place in his dream. There's probably thousands of worlds with golden beaches. Not to mention many that he could have visited back on Earth. It's Morgan's alien in the egg. That's who's sending us the messages. Can you still feel your wounds? I can't feel any swelling. Well, it has been a couple of weeks. To have been unconscious all this time, I must have hit my head. What are you doing? I am sensing for hidden injuries. Bats? Oh, you're using some kind of echolocation? I do appreciate your concern, but I really need to see our medic. Do you know how I can return to the cavern? The wardens use this place for healing. It is best you remain. Colonel's back. Isn't that Beatrice Lang? Who? Sirix boss. There you are. Whoa, you don't need to salute me. But I've just noticed. Where's your wrist device? Ah, uh, no wonder I couldn't find you on the GPS. No matter. I'll have Mr. Gruber get you a new one. Right, back to business. We know linking works. <laughs> Been there, done that. We were working on a theory that linking takes you to a different universe within the Aliaverse. Aliaverse. It's a term theoretical physicists use to refer to the totality of all possible universes. So, being a particle man, I naturally started thinking about what might facilitate linking. The linking force needs to be mediated by something. That something is most likely a boson. Let's call it an Alion. Yes, I like the sound of that. So far, we've managed to measure the energy loss during the process of linking. The results have helped define the decay modes. So now, we need to calibrate this technology to look for similar decays. Are you following so far? Good. So, what we're about to do now... So what happened? They're still pondering the evidence you gathered in Kadish Talisa, but they decided to let me come back. It's as well that Thomas wasn't there, because he sounded a bit shaky. At least to me. I asked Daniel Lev to keep an eye on him, but... So? Oh, goodness. Where do I start? Manny speaks very highly of you. Manny? General Gomez. Remember Morgan? He was my ticket down here. I know he was initially reluctant, but Gabe says you've been very helpful. 
If you're going to be here for a while, I can show you what we've been doing on Arcana. Yeah. You can try one of those linking books that you said didn't exist. And then Henry gave us all a fright. Ah, speak of the devil. And the colonel's back. There you are. Who's this? My assistant, Annie. Isn't she one of the engineers? Well, unless someone new came down in my absence. That certainly isn't a standard issue uniform. Henry. Culver? Well, your registering is normal. I should hope so! But her basic bio readings are decidedly off. Uh, Thomas, you do realize that she's certainly not human. And from the scans, I'm only guessing, but some sort of android or bot? Thomas? Thomas?